If you come and buy a pot from somebody that you have a chance to meet and understand the story about where it was made and why it was made and how it was made, I think it's a lot richer experience. So the reason that I sell almost everything right here is because I really like having that relationship with the buyer. Well, I work in big batches. Um, the clay has to be, you know, uh, wedged and weighed out and, and made sure that there's no air in it. And then the pots are formed usually in sets of 12 on the wheel. It takes about three days to load 400 pots in the kiln and get it all bricked up and ready to go. Uh, it's about four days of firing, putting wood into the kiln around the clock, uh, five days to cool, and then about three hours to unload everything in there. It's like Christmas morning. And then everything's got to be gone over, make sure there's no cracks or sharp edges or rough bottoms or anything like that. So everything get, kind of gets a once over before it goes into the showroom. To dig enough clay and use local sourced clay and wood ash and wood for fuel that's all from right here, I think is very important for me as a maker. It kind of ties me to the place. It makes the pots uniquely from this place. And you know, the amount of time that I spend walking my dog and hiking in the Shawnee National Forest, um, you know, just the visual richness of the area for inspiration for surfaces and colors and, and textures and things like that, I think it really makes being here critical to what I do as a maker.